this video we are going to see about custom pipes and its usages and an example so a custom pipe is a pipe which will be used for converting an input to some other output for example uh, in angular js one and uh, before we have uh, filters so these filters will be used to convert the input into an uh, into an uh, another format for example I have a rupee conversion. I need a rupee conversion. So uh, already it is in present in US dollars. So to the US, from the US dollars to the rupee conversion will be done using these filters. Those so those kind of that kind of uh, uh, filters are there. So that will be called now as pipes. That's a thing. And pipes are of two pipes, uh, two types: pure waves and the impure waves. We'll see about these things in another video. So. Pipe is like uh, it takes an input and uh, it will convert to an output based on some evaluation, some functions like that. Okay, so for example, you have a data stored so 105913. I have been putting a salt filter, which is salt pipe. So, what you have to do, right? 135910. This will be done through the uh, salt pipes that is custom pipe. So, where there is no uh, built in pipes for this okay so we will see about this the steps involved in creating a custom pipe is first you need to create a pipe class and you need to decorate the decorator like that pipe and we have to name the property so which one will be the property like that and then uh, you need to write a pipe transmission logic and this will be used in the html using the uh, pipes uh, pipe symbol which represents a pipe so which is a keyboard character i will show you the example so uh, i have a template file so html file so then in this file i have used a consumed a pipe so the pipe is order by pipe this is a custom pipe which i uh, have here okay user is the input i have been uh, converting this user like uh, through order by last name so i want to uh, want this user to sort with the uh, last name order okay so this is the functionality for me and i will print this u dot last name based on that uh, selections i have a custom pipe here and this custom pipe is order pipe so in this order pipe i have been importing two important uh, things for these pipes one is pipe and by another one is pipe transfer so for the pipe we need a name so this will be the pipe's name Okay, so we are using a order by pipe. In our previous example, you will see, right? So this order pipe we name here at pipe name or uh, call an order by. So this will become an order pipe. So we are exporting a class order by order by pipe, implementing pipe transformation. So in the transformation, we are getting an array, and we are getting a field uh, string. Okay. So what the function I am calling here is array dot sort. So what I need now? I need a I need to do a sort function. So for this sort function, I getting any value a and getting a value b of type any. Any means input. It can be a number or it can be a string. So whatever uh, whether it may be string or uh, number, I can be able to uh, compare those values. So first uh, we have uh, three conditions here. First one is the value which is present in the a and the value which is present in the b is less than means we, i am returning minus one if it is greater than means i will return value one if they are equal means i will return zero and that function is ends there so array dot sort will come for each and every values in the array structure and all the values will be sorted based on this one and finally i am printing this scan array through a console statement and I am returning this array to the main function. Okay, so this array is coming into the uh, for the user based on the last name, it is uh, ordering this one. So it will take all the names one by one, uh, one and the next. So first and two will be comparing first, and then two and three, three and four, two and three, three and four, four and five, like that is it will compare. This is the output I am getting. So I have a set of names. Charles, Emma, Eve, uh, George, Janet, and Tracy. So these names are sorted and given here. So based on my HTML file. 
So I'm, I'm uh, using this file for the last name. So that name, these names are listed at here. This is how it converts. So the original data has the ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the first name is George Bluth. And second name is Janet. Uh, there and the third name is uh, Emma Wong, fourth name is Eve Holt, fifth name is Charles Morris, and the sixth name is uh, Tracy Thomas. Okay, so based on the last name uh, checking, so it is getting the last names. So, blue what as per the data order, we have Bluth, Weaver, uh, uh, Wong, like that, right? So, these names are sorted based on the conditions. And see in the next thing we have uh, the order already like 5, 3, 4, 1, 2, 6 like that. Okay. So what happens here now? Based on the name, Charles, Emma, A, George, Janet, Tracy, everything will be getting ordered. Okay. Uh, I had a mistake. Uh, it is not based on last name, it is based on first name. I have made a mistake in the query. Okay. Just correct it. Thanks, team. Thanks for the support.